Hi, um, this is Belinda. Um, I've done Floss True before. I um, did it behind the camera, um, three of them, which I will be deleting. So um, this is my first time in front of the camera. A little bit nervous, not sure how it's going to go. Hopefully okay, not sure really where to look. Um, but yeah, so I'll start off with talking a bit about myself and then I'll show you my whips and my crazy seven start that I'm doing on cross stitch and discuss and we'll go from there. Um, so as I said my name is Belinda, I'm 34 years old, I live in Western Australia, I live in a small uh, country um, town four hours, roughly four hours north of Perth. Um, it's a farming mining town we own our own farm as well as working full-time for another farmer, so we're pretty busy. Um, my husband and I have four kids, um, three girls and a boy. We have Sophie who's nine, um, Iona who's seven, Michaela who is um, five, nearly five, and William who is I think about 20 months. Um, I've been cross-stitching for about 20 years on and off. I used to be very much a one whip only person. It was very much how I was brought up. Um, but I found that I would cross stitch for about a month and then I wouldn't touch it again for three, four months, maybe longer. And then I'll get back into it and then I'll do another couple of weeks and then just want to get back to it. And then on Facebook, I discovered cross stitching groups and all these people that have lots and lots of whips and they have rotations or they just stitch whenever they feel like it on whatever they feel like it and they don't care how many starts they have or how many finishes they do it's about enjoying their hobby and it got me wow you know, this is cool and I've stitched so much more in the last two years than I have done I would say ever and I'm really really enjoying it I'm on quite a few groups um, I'm also admin on Cross Stitch and Discuss. I'm one of the admins. And um, yeah, just really, I really enjoy cross stitching and I really enjoy going on the groups and watching Floss Tube. And I've subscribed to quite a few of you and um, binge watched quite a few of you too, right back from the beginning. Um, so it's been really good to see you start a whip and progress through it and, and then see the ending when you finished it or just keep going and so yeah excuse me so I'll show you um, my whips and then I'll show you my crazy seven I think I'm missing one of my crazy seven um, but I can't help that and yeah so um, I keep all my um, cross stitching stuff in Ziploc bags. Um, living on a farm, red dirt is everywhere. This is really, really good. Um, it can get really hot here as well as cold, and I find these protect my whips really well. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, I can't, I've misplaced the um, cover shot, but it's the um, red Mirabellia, but I'm doing it um, the purple version for my daughter Iona, who's purple nuts. Um, this is what it's going to look like. And I haven't done the conversion, obviously. It was this lady whose name is on this picture. I will put it in the links below so that if you want to do the purple version or look at all her other work, you're more than welcome to. But again, this is not my conversion. This is... Whatever, I can't read it from here. Um, <laughs> so I'm doing this on 32 Belfast. Um, it's called Silver Springs by Colour Cassades, which is a Perth-based um, fabric, um, hand-dyed fabric. And that's what I'm up to. And manual reminder. Haven't gone to any of the specialty threads yet. 
Um, the water lilies are the same as in red. It's just the purpley colours that I've changed. But love, love, love this fabric. I love the purple a lot better than I did the red. And it is really, really, really fun to stitch. Um, my next one is Joan Elliott, the Ladybug Fairy. And I'm doing this just on eight account. This is one of the um, last ones that I started on Ada before trying um, linen and I still work on Ada but I would have done this on linen and that's how much I've done on that I started this this year and just a joy to work on I love love working on Joan Elliott and for this one, I'm keeping all my threads in this little thing with all the beads and extra stuff. Just something that I got on one of those Aussie um, buy and sell cross stitching groups um, on Facebook. Love it. Okay, my next one is. Um, I'm doing it as a sale. Oh, two pieces over there. This is from Lakeside Needle Craft and it's the fantasy sale. Um, this has only just come out. Um, only the board has been released this month. And for August we get our first creature. And this is getting stitched on Belfast, the 32 count. And I've done the circles. And this fabric is Hole in the Wall from Colour Cassades. I will put a link to Colour Cassades uh, and the other um, place that I get my fabric from um, in the link below really good service if you're an Australian and you're looking for hand dyed fabric and it's too expensive to go overseas she does really good hand dyed fabrics she does um, her own dyed threads uh, silks I think um, plus she carries all the DMC at a dollar which is just a really good rate and when she has a sale and it's on everything it includes DMC threads which means you can get DMC threads you know, 80 cents a skein which is just really 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 good um, also she does like when a new mirabilla is released she does where you can get all the embellishments and fabric and she does a 10% discount really awesome if you need anything ordered she does her best to get it in highly recommend color cassades my next one is a gold dimension kit and I haven't really done anything this was one of my crazy seven starts in January and my really 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 sad start I haven't got back to this yeah my really 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 sad start and it's not that I don't like it it's just that I've been busy doing presents for other people I had a friend that had a baby so I did a sample for her and um, a lot of other stuff's been kicked to the wayside. side. Now this is crisp sorry um, another Joan Elliott the Christmas Blue Angel I was totally unable to buy this on cross stitch and discuss she is Stunning. I'm not normally into the whole winter thing because it doesn't snow here and doesn't get remotely cold. Uh, 
Now this is on 32 Belfast Opal from Angel Wings Mermaid Tails. Doesn't tell me what it is. And it's beautiful purple fabric. And that's my sad start on that one. And I feel really bad. I love this. And it wasn't until I was going through my stuff, moving it around. I went, oh, that's right. I started that. Got to get back to it. Sorry for the um, rattling. I've got to put everything away. I've got too much stuff. If I don't do it, then it's just going to be a jumbled mess afterwards. Now, this is my last stocking for this one I'm doing for William. It's the Dimensions Secret Santa stocking, Dimension Golds. I have to say, after having three girls and having a boy and doing another stocking, I'm over stockings, over trees, over Santa. But I did the other girls there. A Santa and I just had to do Santa for this one so that's where I'm up to um, it's a bit dirty I've had um, kids come up and touch it and when they weren't supposed to and normally they're really really good but um, and they've hurt themselves and they're crying and they want their mum. They're not going to think about, Ooh, I shouldn't be touching that. This is another one of my crazy starts in January. This is the Woodland Enchantress, another Dimensions. This one actually has a ring going out gun to it. Love. I, I'm really into the dimension kits. Um, not so keen on their fabric anymore. These have really good fabric. Um, the Joan Elliott Mirabilia. another one, the Falls Fairy. And really, I'm not even going to put a point plugging it in further because that's all I've done. Another crazy seven star. I think I did mostly dimensions. Now, this is the Ada, the Garden Fairy. This was um, one of my seven starts in January, Crazy Seven. This one I've actually done quite a bit to do with. Um, all that beautiful I love love stitching on her the yellow got tedious when I got to that rose up on the dress I was like yay something that's not yellow now this is done on 32 Belfast June June Doom from place. I'm going to butcher the name. I'm not very good at some names, so I'm just going to show you. She is a UK based um, supplier. Her stuff is awesome. Another really good one. If the exchange rate wasn't so bad, I would buy more from her. Really good service. 
has a Facebook page, babe, page. I will link it as well below. Now, this is the Country Cottage Needleworks. Another one of my crazy seven starts. And I've managed to get a lot done on this one. For some reason, I was, I was calling this my purple sheep whip, but it's everything else is purple but the sheep. So I love this. This is actually from my mother-in-law in Scotland. Now, I, I forgot two whips, so I'm going to have to quickly do a run to where they are, which is just over there, and then I'll be back. Sorry. bit longer than I expected. I'm sorry for the noise. You think you're organised. You spend a lot of time organising and then you realise you haven't. Um, I'm also doing the Frosted Pumpkin Stitch Along with the pass, pass ball. I am doing Egypt at the minute. But I've been keeping up to it all. This is done on Ale... PTP fabric. I got it when I ordered the kit. Um, a whip that I've just started. That's what I was taking out before, wasn't it? It's the August Birthstones Fairy for Michaela. She is just Beautiful. And that's my start. This fabric is done on 32 Belfast from Colour Cassades. I can't remember what it's called, but it's from Colour Cassades. Pretty sure. Not in the other place. And I don't really have a picture for this. It's um, the Frosted Pumpkin Storytime Sampler. I don't know if I printed out the front page. But this is done on 32 Storm Belfast, I think. And that's my little start there. I did that for the Crazy 7 as well. I never got back to it. But I would, because I want it done. A lot of the books um, are books that I've read, and it's the books my kids like. They're, they're classics. Um, you're going. But the books that you're going to read again and again and again, no matter how old your kids get. Now onto my heaven and earth designs. This is the one I was gifted in a gift exchange. It is called Enchantment of the Wolf. Very, very tiny little start. I always start at the bottom. Little start. I think I did this in the Crazy Sevens before that. So I started doing the first lot of Crazy Sevens I had last year. And I think I did about four and then I quit. Got too much. And then I completed it this year, and um, I thought, oh yeah, yeah, that, had enough, not doing it again. I'm doing it again. 
because I'm like that. Now this one, I will just, I don't have a picture for, but what I'll do is um, I will put a link to where it is so that you can see it down the bottom. It saves me trying to search it. Um, this is the Unicorn and the Maiden by Anne Stokes. It's a heaven and earth design. And I've done that much. Bottom. Um, theory. It's for Sophie. That she'll get that when she turns 16. Whether that happens a lot. Or whether it becomes an 18. I'm not sure. Um, now this is of um, Outback Storm. Now this is a, a photograph that was taken by Jeff Pritchard. Um, he's the artist. And this is in the Pilbara, which is north again from us. But this reminds me so much of where we live. And when we move into our house, this is going to have pride and grace. I just love the design, love the colours. Haven't done a lot. I've done the bottom. So many shades of black, well not shades of black, but you know, dark colours and reds and just love it. Okay, last whip, I promise. Uh, this one again, I'm pretty sure for some reason I don't have... I think because I was going to do this as a surprise for my husband. Do uh, I have a quick photo? Because you can't get a photo. Oh, it's right there. Sorry, that's that heaven and earth one by Anne Stokes. That's the one I'm doing my daughter with the unicorn. And I'll just quickly see if I can get, do I have it in here one? Really sorry about this. But I don't, like you can't look this up. This is a photo that I asked Michelle from Heaven and Earth if she could convert. And she nicely did. Here it is. So this is what it's going to look like. And that mountain peak up there is a mountain in Scotland um, around the Aberdeen Shire called Benny Hee. And that is where Jeff proposed to me. Dragged me up there. I, uh, our oldest girl was seven months old. Um, I was still recovering, even though it was seven months after from a Caesar. Um, I had um, preeclampsia, so it was not a very normal pregnancy slash labor slash having a baby um, and I was still very unfit and still recovering um, from a lot of the surgery and just having a baby that did not sleep at night but he dragged me up to the top and proposed and I said yes and then you had another three kids so um, it means a lot to Jeff and I But it's confetti hell. And it's a, I can't even blame Michelle because I'm the one that said, hey, can you convert this photo for me? That is like 30 colours. It's insane. It is going 
to look stunning but it kills my stitchy bag pretty damn quick um, when I stitch on it but I want to stitch on it because I want it to be framed in our house I I love it it's very special to us um, it reminds Jeff of home all right now for the whips that are coming up that I will be starting um, on the 17th of July um, yeah. so first one up is the Enchanted Aurora from Joan Elliott and I actually ordered this from the Joan um, Elliott site much doesn't have my name or anything but I am so thrilled and this is never ever getting chucked out and I will be doing it on this beautiful fabric um, pretty sure it's color cassades normally I keep the ticket with it I can't just see it if it's not color cassades, then it'll be that other one. But, oh, the colors in this. It's 32 Belfast. It's sparkly. It's opal. It's sparkly. She is going to look beautiful. Okay. The other one I'm starting is another dimension kit because I don't have enough going. It is the fairy tale to complete the series from the other two. And I will just be doing that on the Ada 16 count, 18 count, that it was called for. It's a creamy colour. The next one is Stargazer from Mirabilia. Love her. Seen a lot of people do it, seen the different conversions. I just love her. Now this is definitely 32 Belfast from Colour Cassades. Opal. I think it's night skies or dark skies is the colour. Um, someone very nicely did a one of those reader picture reader. Things to see how the picture was going to look on this fabric. It's going to look perfect. We're not going to lose any detail, which is awesome. Right. Next one is Earth Goddess by Joan Elliott. And I am doing this in the Angel Wings Mermaid Tales 32 Belfast Opal and if you can read that handwriting it's something gross and it is like purpley with a bit of yellow undertones but I think I can really enjoy it on this. Probably not as earthy as what I was going to go for. But I am really, really happy with it. Okay. I have a feeling that I'm missing one. But I can't think what it is. So, really my surprise there. So, my last one that I've got with me is the Snow Queen with three daughters, you know, frozen princesses, queens, big massive hit in this household. And this is going to be done on 32 Belfast Opal in fabric called Frost from that Chromic, that UK based website I will put it up 
it is go back here. Nice. It's named after the frozen thing, but so many goodies, so many beads, and there's the water lilies, so much good stuff in this one. Can't wait to, to try it. Alright, that's um, me done. Um, longest video I've ever done. Usually mine are about 10 minutes, my previous ones. So I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope that it was okay. Any feedback would be good. Um, yeah, thank you again, and I will try and do these monthly. I don't do enough stitching to warrant weekly ones, so I'll try and do one um, at the beginning of um, next month, round about during the school day when I've got three at school. Um, we we'll probably work in better with no little surprises. My oldest girl, Sophie, might be making a pop in now and then to show off her whip and her update because she cross stitches. And all the other girls, um, they're doing that running stitch, practicing, um, really, really enjoying it. So thank you again and see you next time. Bye.